His only loss to Yoi no Smashnoff, no who of course no uh, made it to the no semi-finals okay. of the lightweight Show Kubitae, okay. which was eventually won by Lee Fang Shu. Bit of a uh, career resurgence for him. It could be, Andrew Hammond has found his farm here in Japan, he's kind of trying to, to bring back his career, keep it going, he's, he's one of the, I mean he's here in a semi-main event slot, that's got to be worth something of course, and they come out swinging. Uh, of course, Harvard with the uh, maroon and H's and uh, Daryl Ship with the with the flashlights on his gear. Yes, yes, flesh tones and flesh lights. It's the fleshy shit. <laughs> and that's of course the standard colors, the, the red go. knee pads, the, Here we go. the navy blue ankle supports. <laughs> Okay, uh, so shit's multicolored then. That certainly is. It's a it's a very multicolored shit. And oh, oh. Andrew Harvard pounds some oh. shit. <laughs> for a big, it was almost a forearm. It was like I think he was going for an elbow and just yeah. kind of curled it in. Got the forearm. Yeah. Just kind of bludgeoned oh. him with the forearm. Uh, now uh, Harvard's on top of shit right now. Uh, of course, you want to be. Well, I think uh, that's a hill you want to climb. I think you want to you want to. You want to make an impact here in Kubita, you're going to take out a man who's been surging and there's no one who's been pushing through the competition quite like shit. Now a shit, now a shit on his chest. You're enjoying this kid. Oh! oh, oh. Shit just mi nearly missed him. Andrew Harvard nearly got decked by shit. Oh shit, kicking right in the face. Some good shit kicking there. Heavens, Heaven is, is holding his own. He's maintaining, maintaining the pace. He's keeping up with shit, and oh, knocks him down. Oh, goes for the stomp. Oh, he oh, nearly stomp and shit. I think I know uh, you have that one, Ken. And he takes him down. Uh, goes over the side mounts. Okay, just through the shit. And oh, ah. nice reversal and, and shit just getting right in the face of Andrew Hammond. He's sick. Moving to the guard and trying ah. to just mount some sort of offense here. Shit's, co shit's coiling. I don't know about so much coiling. Okay, they get back up and oh, there you go. shit with some strikes. Daryl, shit. Uh, don't be fooled by the size. This shit might be long and thin, <laughs> but it packs a punch. Oh, <laughs> they're going for some dirty boxing. Is oh, that's, dirty. <laughs> that's a very dirty shit. Well, that was Harvard going for the dirty boxing and the clinch and just some uppercuts from the clinch. Oh, nice left hook. I think Harvard wants to uh, oh. try to figure out his range. I think the reach is a little bit deceptive when you have a man who's of, of the size of shit. And Harvard actually has a longer reach, but well, shit, he's just built in such a way that he's built like shit. What? Well, he's built like, he's not built like shit. Shit is very, uh, is very long and lanky, and Harvard actually has a reach advantage and just size in general, but the, the general body type makes it a bit confusing and, and tough to deal with. That's why people have had so much trouble dealing with shit. Andrew Harvard has the mount. He is right on top of shit. He is not letting go. And oh, God, my big shit is trying to roll up. Oh, big one! He is pounding shit right here in the middle of the ring. Oh! And Andrew Hammond! Oh, 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 slap my auntie's gravesite! What? Andrew Hammond! Oh, just all the blood he's got shit on his gloves. He certainly does! The blood of shit! <laughs> Rings what? out across this map. Oh, uh, what a bloody shit! And those hammer fists. Well, I might as well call it the shit hammer. <laughs> oh, he just pounds shit right on the face, right across the bridge of the nose. Uh, uh, and he's not going to be able to smell anything for a while if that's been busted. 
That will be one shit that can't smell. <laughs> and Andrew Harvard, what a victory! Who's just reintroduced himself to the Kubatay faithful with a big knockout uh, victory. Uh, and he's one to watch for in, in 2015. He's embracing shit there though, that's good.